Women FC TV with Aaron Racine looking ahead to Yeovil away in the National League South. Aaron, how are you feeling going into it? Uh, confident after obviously the weekend's performances and results. Um, looking at them and in terms of their sort of stadium, their surface, I think that suits us quite well. So we're looking at to sort of take the game to them. Yeah, we think we're becoming a team that's starting to rise up to those kind of occasions as well with bigger crowds and bigger stadiums. Do you feel like the team are well suited to go into that occasion? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you only got to look at. I know it's a long time ago, but Torquay beginning the season. You know, it's a, a big club, big crowd, big stadium. We went there and played unbelievably well, um, and obviously got the three points. Um, I think it's going to be a different challenge this weekend. Obviously, they're being top of the league. They're they're a strong team, a strong team, and very steady team. So it's definitely going to be hard. But I don't I don't think we have anything to fear going there in terms of like the big stadium, the big crowd. Quite a unique situation as well with them potentially being able to win the league title against us on Saturday, but we've got plenty to play for ourselves with the, the playoff chase going after those top two spots. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think um, yeah, like they'll they'll obviously be up for it because of what you just said. Then they can go and win the league, especially at home. That's obviously the ideal place to do it. Um, but we're not really taking that into account. We'll just look at ourselves and look at our performances recently. And, and like I said before, we'll see where we can exploit these teams and and go at them. Looking at those recent performances, we had a Friday and Monday, the two Easter games. It's been the week to look over those. What were your main takeaways from those two performances? Um, I think we defended a lot better. I don't think we were at our best, especially at ha uh, Haven. Um, but we seem to like weather the storm better than we have done before in previous games. So I think that's always that's a, been a pleasing thing in those last two games. And on top of that, obviously getting the the, uh, the two results. And well, for yourself, I mean, what happened on a uh, Monday? Have you had any word about that with uh, your dismissal? Uh, no, any word, no. Um, look, the guy was going to take a throw in, he's probably going to counter us. Um, in my head, I thought I just wouldn't give him the ball and I'll get a yellow card like a player does. Evidently, it's different for a staff member and obviously got a straight red. So I was completely unaware of that situation in terms of all the outcome. Um, but yeah, just waiting to hear my, um, my punishment. <laughs> I mean, it feels like a bit of a, a harmless crime, doesn't it? But yeah, like I said, in my head, I just thought it's the same rules for all in terms of players, staff. Um, you waste time to kick the ball away, you get a yellow card. I think in my head, I was willing to take a yellow card as a, as a staff member if, I, if that uh, prevents them from taking a quick throw in and, and catching us off guard. Um, but yeah, like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't fully aware of the, um, the rule changes for staff members. Talking about uh, unavailabilities, I suppose looking at the squad is the main thing. Uh, Nicky Wheeler obviously had that knock on Friday. Um, anyone in the squad who might not be available for Saturday? Yeah, Nicky's getting assessed tonight. Um, I don't know, he's probably doubtful for Saturday, but obviously we'll see how he is and, and see how it um, recovers over the next couple of days. Um, everyone else, we've got a couple of knocks, so Joel's carrying a little bit, um, Jack Wadham's carrying a little bit, but they're getting assessed and hopefully um, they'll be fine for Saturday. And looking at the trip for Saturday, sold out coach, support seems to be coming in their numbers for it for what could be a good occasion for both sides. Um, how much of an important thing is that for the team to have the fans back in it? Yeah, I think, again, all you've got to do is ask the boys how much of an impact they had against Torquay away at their place. Um, we heard them all throughout the game and then it was nice to celebrate the win of them at the end. So hopefully they can help us with the performances and the result on the weekend and then we can celebrate with them at the end.